Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so that is what the committee would like. Okay, let's look at that. I want to follow up. That's a 10. That's right. I didn't ask for a shot. No, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's okay. But there was more cards that would have been great. I can't do this. You said you didn't want to speak to the committees. They said, I can speak for myself. You can move to another performance if you'd like, like, what's the last day? Well, you give us our money back? Yeah, exactly. I had tickets for yesterday for something with the. Did they cancel it? No. Did they cancel Proposed recreation fund. Um, There's there are no paper here, and I'm going to find. I can speak to it if you want. <laughs> and I'm going to call on the town administrator to explain the um, the proposal. So you can um, you would have seen on the town warrant that there were two potential um, ideas with regard to how to move forward for a fund for the Recreation Committee. Um, the intent to be to roll over um, unused funds um, from one year to the next. Mm -hmm. um, there's still discussion about um, those funds and how they're calculated, but there are two different funds to be considered. The Expendable Trust, um, which requires an article on the warrant every year with a specific amount of money to be deposited. Um, and the select boards would be listed as agents. Um, the other is the revolving fund, which has a whole other set of um, mm -hmm. rules about it, mm -hmm. which does not require an article on the warrant every year, um, necessarily, though you could do it that way. But once the department is fully seated in that fund, it could operate entirely out of that fund um, without providing a budget to the governing body, um, which is a great thing for some day because it allows for growth, for the fees and monies received to be turned back into the program for growth of programming and staff and so forth. Um, I spoke with uh, someone from the Department of Revenue about the choices in funds. There's a lot to consider. The revolving fund offers a lot of um, autonomy and flexibility, but there are um, there are management issues for the first few years because until it has enough money to operate on its own, um, it you know you've got it sort of in the operating budget and sort of in the revolving fund, and that doesn't really work well. And so the recommendation of the woman from the Department of Revenue is to put money in an expendable trust for a number of years until such time as the town chooses to put enough money in a revolving fund so that it is sure to be able to operate entirely within the revolving fund. Gotcha. Okay. So the, the what, what we're here for this evening, though, was, is option A. So that's what was uh, given to the budget for right? This whole warrant, as such, was given to the budget both committee, options? so they had, they received both options. Okay. Yes, because the board had not yet decided, okay. given the um, committee's intent, which way to move forward, because there wasn't really time to to look into the options. And since then, we've heard from the committee that they would prefer the revolving fund. However, um, because we are operating in a um, an election cycle that is a month forward of where we were last year. Um, when this warrant was drafted and we went to the public hearing, there was no dollar amount besides the one dollar in one fund. Right. Um, but there was no allocation of 2018 funds put into either of these articles, right. which means that 2018 money now is not a discussion point. We've passed that time. Right. So um, that being said, it is possible to put one of these articles on the warrant um, 
we could do the same in 2020 and fund it and be in the same net position. So while you could put a fund on the warrant with no, uh, no appropriations or with a $1 appropriation, um, you may be able to encumber funds of 2019 with the revolving fund. However, you can also do that by way of the 2020 warrant. So there is no difference or additional benefit in doing it this year rather than 2020. Okay. Is there not, is, does either option allow for donations to be made into it without being funded? The revolving fund is not supposed to have donations. Okay. Um, and yet we have to, that was one of the original intents, was right. to be able to hold on to scholarship money or if there was a large donation that you could put it away. So it may be ultimately that the best scenario is either an expendable trust for a number of years and then a revolving fund, um, or else an expendable trust for a number of years and then perhaps one of each fund so that you can keep both going. But we still have to honor the intent of donations. And, and we're still caught in this funny position where um, money isn't supposed to be carried over year after year, and we're working with the auditor to do that. It's not very clean. Um, but revolving fund money, there's still a lot to learn, but my understanding is revolving fund, fund money is specifically supposed to not include donations. Thoughts, please. Before no. we try to open the, or questions, rather, before we no. open. Miles, any other questions? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll open up for the public portion then. Are there comments or questions? Concerns? Well, I, you know, we spoke, so we spoke just, as just, um, just, Kelly Anderson, chair. Oh, three months in lane. Oh, sorry. Um, as a committee, we spoke um, on the on our meeting, and I was away, so when Celia did all this work and threw all this together, I, I was playing catch up. So I played catch up this week and um, I, I think we, as a, just listening to how Caroline said it again, that as a committee we want to table it. That that is our, okay. um, our feeling as a committee. That it, so it doesn't, for this year then, yes, it talking. doesn't make any sense for us, as she just said, to push it forward on the ballot this year if okay. there's no money to put in it. So um, I spoke with the other chair and um, they're all in agreement. On this budget, I had the last rec meeting to table it. To okay, September. but the, 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 what I, that's what I meant, the, the rec committee yes. was. Yes. So the majority of the committee was okay. in agreement. <laughs> 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 one no. Okay. So, do you have any thoughts? Um, is there there is. <laughs> there are a lot of oh, funds. Are you finished, Kelly? I don't mean to uh, Yes. Okay. Are you finished? Uh, and I, you know, it's it. Well, the two funds are, and that's, you know, it's really interesting because I, I guess that was a part, a piece that I missed that. You know, and if we have an expendable trust, that still has to go through the town budget, correct? Yes. So. Um, because you don't. You have to go. Enough. You have to put it on the warrant that you're going to take. The select board is agents. Yeah. So. It's offsetting revenue, so right. it's in the revenue portion of the budget that it's going to offset whatever your operating, you know, budget right. is. So I think going forward, we I think we would like to we we need to be profitable in order to attach right. ourselves to these. So we're being optimistic that that's going to happen. So um, I think more more information is, is definitely right. well, see, needs it's to certainly be moving towards that direction. I yes. mean, you're, both, you're all you've done all of you have done a wonderful job in trying to. Um, Meet that mark. So, yeah. maybe this summer. Celia <laughs> Leopold, Washington Street. I have done a lot of legwork on this, and I have found out that there are probably half a dozen different funding options for REC. And at the request of the committee, I am um, gathering all that information. And hopefully, down the line, the committee can sit down with Caroline and go over it, and then any questions and concerns that come up from the information gathered and presented can go through Caroline to the DAR, or Department of Revenue Administration, and be answered, and then we'd be more prepared in the future. I still think the revenue uh, revolving fund is a good idea, um, but it's been pointed out to me that there are some um, consequences and 
um, loopholes that I have not thought about that should be considered before moving forward. Any other public comment? I'll just say thank you, Celia, for, for doing all the research that you did. I'm sure that the uh, committee appreciates it as well. And if there isn't any other public comment, I'm going to close that portion. Are there any questions or concerns, comments from the select board? No, I, I also thank you as well. That it's um, it has brought an interesting issue to light, and I, I do think we need to figure out our best option before we put it on any kind of line. No. All right, I close the public hearing. Thank you all very much. And we're going to open the select. We're, we're supposed to like do this, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> thank you both. All right, I'm going to open the um, the. Um, January 21st, I don't think what day it was, uh, wrong for select board meeting at um, about 10. First order of business is the approval of minutes from January 14th, the actual meeting and the two public hearings. Do folks have a chance to review them? I'm sorry, any uh, edits, changes, omissions? Mine changed, yep. Okay, you got yours done already? Okay. So by consensus, we will adopt the uh, regular meeting of the 14th and the two public hearings from the 14th. Any community input at this point? I haven't done anything yet, so, but you're more than welcome to say anything you want. All right, so we're going to get into the town administration. Piece of the evening, we have the town meeting to go over. We have the work to go over. And you should see it in front of you, what's going to be included and what's not. What I'd like to do is go through... Article by article, and uh, this is our opportunity to ask questions, decide if, or decide whether or not we want to include it on the warrant or not. The first one we don't have a choice it's going on the ballot is <laughs> the um, is to bring in your ballots. But we should be looking to make sure we have all the right offices. So we have a select board member for three years. That would be. Um, that would be the position that you were in at the moment, Miles, because you were filling Suzanne's term, and she was up this year anyways. Um, one town treasurer, one chief of the fire department, three members of the budget committee for three years. So we're all up to date with um, people that may have resigned or moved or passed on? Or I did this with Kate, okay. but you know, we're reviewing this just in case anybody has any different thoughts about okay. this. And then also we're adding at the bottom of the list the tree warren, warden, the fence viewer, surveyor of wooden lumber, and then there's a fourth, which is just parks and recreation. Those are the four things that would right. be appointed at town meeting. Right. Let me go make a copy for Selma. Um, no, they're down no by because they were done by town meeting. You can't just switch. So it still has to be town meeting. So, so, so that's why you will see later in the warrant, mm -hmm. if you all want, you can choose to discontinue those positions because it's going to cause a lot of write-in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll be right back. So we have, um, in the um, town report, elected at town meeting. <coughs> yeah, I know, but... Those are the yeah. All right, so it was replaced by the, by the official ballot, so that's the go on that. Excuse me. Um, we have an election, so we don't have a town hall, and we haven't done the election. Yeah, the Legion. It says town hall. Just in case. Good catch. I thought it was a Legion, too. Yeah, I saw somewhere that it said Legion. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, it's definitely open from 7 to 7, that much I know. Yeah. yeah. American Legion. Seven at the oh, uh, thank American you. Legion. Yep, yep, thank you. All right, and to bring in your ballot for the town officers and uh, the other articles. All right, so we have three members of the budget committee, but we're confirming just to make sure one trustee of the trust funds, one library trustee for three years, one trustee of the cemetery trust for three years, and then the other necessary town officers. So it would be a surveyor of woods and lumber, two yes. positions. Oh, there are two. Yep. Okay. 
Ben Spewer. Yeah. Tree Warden. Those are single uh, yeah. positions. And then Parks and Recreation for two positions. Yes. I um, do see at the at the end there's a article to um, to see if we're going to do away with those positions. That was the request of the town clerk. Now, so, is Parks and Recreation different than the Recreation Committee? It yes. is. Okay. And it has been. But my question is, um, Parks and Recreation is not a position itself. Like, is it a member? Is it a like? Well, they're both on the committee. But do you see what I mean? Like, I it's not a. They're not a warden. They're not a. The way it was you know, explained to me by Ed, I don't know how many, five years ago, six years ago now, whatever it was, five years ago, was that these were the folks that were supposed to be overseeing the physical plan, like the, yes. the physical parks. Yes. And recreation yes. facilities. Okay. Yes. But are we calling them members of a committee, or are we calling them... It, or they don't to, have to be. They don't have to be members of that committee. Well, but... but I'm not talking about the other committee. I'm just saying we need a noun. Oh, oh, I understand. Oh, 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 Jeff. Yeah, you know, like, like, what are they? What is their the parks and rec member? Re parks and Recreation Commission. Commissioner. I don't know. Are they? Co so we have a park. Do we? Did we? Back up. In the list of all the many things that we may or may not have passed over the years, the DRAs are well aware of. Where oh, I actually opened up to the right page. Never going to happen again. Yeah, Is Recreation Commission one of those things? Yeah. Do we know? So, I, I will... Mm -hmm. Is there a Recreation Commission? This one's dead. So maybe they're commissioners. Well... I don't know. You know. No, it may not. Like, it may, no, maybe not. I mean, we did officially establish a Conservation Commission in the 60s. So, but I'm looking to see if... A recreation commission. So we've seen it in the statutes, but right. So I'll ask DRA yet. and see if they have. Well, you know, this is the list of all the things that DRA is aware of that we have done. Well, right, but whether or not it's a commission or what the group is called, we all still right. need to call these people You're right. some kind of title. You're right. So I'm comfortable leaving with you to find out from the DRA. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think people are going to be beating down the doors to. To get on it, but it seems like other towns have recreation commissions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but it doesn't mean we actually officially did it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and if we didn't, then there's no, they have no authority under statute to, to so exist. So these didn't. roles have been appointed and filled year after year. At town meeting. Yeah. And what is right. it? They don't do they anything. Mean, well, it's recently. There? With, like, does anyone? Kelly Anderson. Um, oh, just okay. left and Kathy Roselli. But they're both on the right. 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 committee. I'm not sure that Kathy Roselli is. Well, is she? Yeah. she oh, was she? before, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think she still is. And Kelly Anderson obviously is the co chair and has been very active. So, you know. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we'll figure out exactly what we're calling if it's Parks and yes, Recreation Commissioner. Find a title for them. Okay, thank you. All right, so the next is um, Article 2 is a zoning ordinance as proposed, uh, recommended by the planning board. Um, zoning, we don't have, we, they're, they're, they've included it in the warrant, so we don't have a to say whether or not we're going to include it in the warrant, right? Um, typically, you're not supposed to because right, well, they put it there. But, um, okay, all right. So note the language, though. But do we have to recommend or not recommend? Um, it, is, it says at the end it's recommended by the planning board. I think it's helpful if it is, but honestly, I'm not sure that it's um, appropriate or not appropriate. I don't recall. When we're, I think when we're, when we're, when we're, I'm going to look right now. We don't know what paragraphs A, B, and C are, how we know them with for so, so that's a really good question. You can't put all this stuff. So, so, so you paraphrase, <coughs> and then the law says we make them available to the public for viewing a week prior to voting day. So we'll send out an announcement to say that there are these voting, these zoning amendments to vote on, and the housing standards will do the same. And note for people that they will be available at the town office to view or hopefully we could have a link to something so that we can read the full proposed text. We didn't have any last year, so let's look at the year before's. I have the year. Oh, it's right here. I've got the minutes right here. 
Oh, right. I just opened it to the right spot again. You should buy a light. Buy a lottery ticket. You certainly should. Yeah. All right. Purchase and start. Zoning ordinance. It just says this amendment is proposed by the Rollins from Planning Board. It doesn't okay. say. Other ones will say, um, like, so Article 5 is the purchase of the fire engine. Recommended by select okay. board, recommended by budget. All right, so I'll get, so that that, one. I'll get rid of that for all of them, and then I can get rid of recommended by the planning board? Because no. Because proposed by the planning board, or do you still want to have the recommended What does it say? I don't want to back up. Okay. Yeah. Well, except that <coughs> I didn't know if you felt as though that was redundant. Hold on. Let's see what they, we did previously. Try to be consistent. The amendment is proposed. The amendment is proposed by the Rollins for planning for it. But is it recommended also at the end of that? No, it no, just says. It's just recommended. Okay. okay. So this amendment is proposed by the Rollins for planning for it. Okay. So it should I say. That okay. So, and the, so that's the same for number two. Yep. The um, uh, and then number four is also a zoning ordinance. So all three of those are, rec yes. are proposed and rec proposed and recommended by the by the plan Rollins for planning board. Do you want me to say that in the text that it is proposed and recommended? I mean, so they are proposed, proposed and recommended, but as far as the text goes. Yeah, the amendment is proposed by the Rollins for Planning Board. Yes, that's all. Okay. okay. Well, number five uh, Housing Standards Ordinance Amendment. Are you in favor of the amendment to the Housing Standards Ordinance as proposed by the Select Board as follows to include definitions of nuisance activity and nuisance, nuisance event? and habitual nuisance property further to add under Article 5, which you have in front of you, the, the blue sheet. Um, you actually don't. That's, um, add the following under Article 5. Habitual no, 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 you do, but the others oh, don't. Oh, here. I don't need it. I don't need that. I will show it to you. can pass it out to Miles. We made one change, okay. which we need. We haven't, we haven't adopted it yet, have we? No, you should. Um, well, first. You've approved getting it to this point, and you cannot otherwise further approve it except, you know, you're recommending that it goes on the warrant, so it's for the... Okay. But based on the public hearing, we can't make that modification? Oh, well... Because that was the you're modification right. you're, the You absolutely hearing. can. Yes, mm -hmm. you absolutely right? can. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there was one change. Okay. You to, strike, yeah. to strike the word rental, mm -hmm. Mr. Proger suggested we just do it to single family, but I think we should keep it to any property. Yeah. Whether it's a single family or a rental, regard what type of rental property, if it's a the, the police chief if it wanted if, a, a nuisance, <coughs> excuse me, section put in there to deal with obviously habitual offenders. So um, if it's a rental property, then you go after the landlord. If it's owner occupied, then you go after the owner. Right. So right. we just change it to any property instead of single, any rental property. Yeah. Yeah. So, but any. So it will now read um, habitual nuisance property. Any property that meets the criteria set out in habitual nuisance property designation shall be designated as a habitual nuisance property. Yep. And it goes to the next section uh, shows what the what the description is for it to be designated a nuisance property. So, and the police chief was comfortable with that change. So we indicated last week. So mm -hmm. all right. So can we have a motion to make that change? And then we'll put it on the warrant. I make a motion that we change it to um, paragraph to say any property that meets the criteria. A second that. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. So Caroline, you've made that change. Yes. All right. So back to the article. Uh, further to add under Article 5, the criteria for habitual nuisance property designation and removal thereof, the noticing requirements for such properties and penalty implications. Further to add under Article 7, the schedule of civil forfeiture fines. Majority of the vote required. What is the pleasure of the board? Shall we recommend or not recommend? So with the, um, well, it is proposed by you all in that text. So is that, are you going to say? Are we recommending to put it on the on the Oh, the I see. Okay. Uh, yes. Do we need a motion okay. to that so, effect? Yeah. Okay. So I'll move to include Article 5 on the... Um, article. Second. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. So Article 5 will be included on the warrant. Number 6 is by petition, so it will be 
it will be included. The question is whether or not we will recommend or not recommend it. Um, this is the um, petition warrant article to uh, rescind the residence tax. Um, so, if we do um, <coughs> delete the um, the requirement to pay residence tax, we will be making up the lost revenue in um, direct taxation. So, what are all your feelings? <coughs> Um, well, this this has uh, been a thorn in the side of residents for years, and mm -hmm. um, I think it's time for it to go. Um, I, I am curious what the revenue shortfall, what 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 sort of hole it puts in the revenue. Twelve to fourteen thousand okay. dollars, something like that. But it's it's my feeling we should recommend it. Is it that high? Well, it's mm -hmm. Six or seven. Eight. I don't know why it's by eight. If you don't pay What's that? The penalty, the rest of the Oh, the pe penalties um, were. It's confusing the two. Okay. The inventory. The inventory penalties are confusing the two of them. Okay. How's your feelings, Denise? Yeah, I mean, it's a thorn. I just. Loss of revenue causes taxes to go up, so. I um, don't okay. like to lose revenue, but it is a. The one in people's sides, so and we're the one of the only two in the state that does it now. Is that right? Yeah. There's two states, two, two towns left in the state that have these, and yep, we're one of them. We're one of them. That was the other one to interrupt. I don't remember who it was. Is there is there any offset savings in the? I'm sure the card that we mail out this has to represent some cost. So the card is mailed out with mail and renewal notices for motor vehicles. Oh. So not necessarily there. It's just. Um, human resource savings, time in creating the list, ordering the cards, um, alphabetizing them, putting labels on them, uh, making sure people have paid them, okay. those things, and separate deposits. All right, any other discussion? All right, so if we, a yes vote will mean we will recommend, a no vote will mean we do not. All those in favor? Aye. So, do we have to say we're recommended by the board of selectmen if it's by petition? I don't know why we have to ever say we that. Have a, we have in the past okay. for a petition warrant article. We don't have to, but we have in the past. Hmm. Right, if, you, if the majority of the board doesn't want to take a position on it, it's okay as well. But we have, just because one board did it in the past, that way doesn't mean we have to continue hmm. doing it that way. But, uh, I mean, I. I I view it as more of a personal recommendation, but as, as a select board member, I, I would recommend it. Are you looking at me? I didn't know if you wanted to say something. Oh, so yeah. I want to give you the opportunity to speak, sorry. I was looking at you. Are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> I just think, as soon as we say we're recommending it, it's going to be our, our fault that we have less revenue, not the people who signed the petition. That's huh? my opinion. So. All right, so we will include our recommendation as to, um, as to article number six. So if you're in favor, say aye. If you're opposed to the recommend, a positive vote means you are in favor of recommending. We're saying yes, we recommend it. If we're saying no, that means you're not in favor of recommending it. So all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, so select board recommends. Number seven, the operating budget. So the bottom line that the the budget committee recommended the other night was oh, not the other night, last week was it? Or it was week before an last? Error of seven hundred and sixty six dollars. So where we thought there was a decrease to the bottom line of eighteen oh six, it's really twenty five hundred dollars and something. Okay. So it's a difference of seven hundred and sixty six. Um, I know why that is now. It came to my attention because of Suzanne entering all of the information into the portal. And um, to answer your question, Denise, um, about correcting the portal, it's um, it's not a matter of correcting the portal. That that line, or or let me make sure I understand you correctly. Um, totals per department are put into the portal. Um, the select board recommended budget 
um, and the budget committee recommended budget and the default budget is all by total per um, these designate these categories that we have here. So they are. Um, she and I are still working on making sure um, we're on the same page about that. Uh, right now, I think that we are. And, and this total on this new spreadsheet re um, reflects her bottom line total in all three of those areas. So I, I think we're good, but we have a lot of check and, you know, checking to do. So it can be changed, because it sounded like with the, the email exchange between Sam well, and you, that there was, it was, you couldn't change it. You had to call DRA. Well, so the reason I want to call DRA is to be clear that we had a public hearing about a different bottom line. You know, we were specific about numbers in the budget, and we were specific about where the cuts were recommended to be coming from. Mm -hmm. But that number 1806 was out there. So, which was not accurate. So, I'm not sure that, you know, there's, there's nothing to be done to correct the past, and all we can do is move forward. Um, I, I just want to talk to them about the implications of that. Um, but there was something that got brought up at the public hearing, that there was a $3,000 error in the fire salary. Correct. So they that have, can't be fixed? Oh, it absolutely can oh, be fixed, okay. because it was brought to After, light, and everybody and, knew. Yeah. And, okay. Right. So, so that's that's fine. Okay. Um, but we were not aware of that error at that time, which um, is just part of All what right, we're so going through this season. Huh. Um, so the budget committee is meeting Wednesday night. Right. They have the authority to continue to modify this right. budget, right. and they will be notified of what we now know. But the chair has been notified. And the chair has been notified. So, Check the email. You know, the well, that was my concern, that it, the stuff was being loaded into the portal before this finalized budget. That, that it will continue, but she can't finish until they meet. You're right. Like, so she can go back and change if something got changed. Yes, yeah. that was my concern. Oh, definitely. It sounded like yes. it, it wasn't going to be able to be changed. No, so if you okay. have to, we, will look, we will review it. As, yes, as we will review it and sign it. We're the ones that are, okay. are, are on the hook for it. We're just asked her to physically enter the information and yep. force during the day. That's all. I just but, but to be yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Statement. No, no, no. So we that's like, we no, couldn't, no, no. so why are we well, putting it in yet? But also, to be clear, the DRA requires that you enter every piece of information throughout yeah. the process as it changes. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, it's always kind of a work in progress until we're done with that process and you press the button and, and it's sign it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, it, Good then. You have I, to I start early. Sure we could fix an error that was done by mistake, or we could adjust what we know we, we should have and it didn't get done. Everything is yeah. correctable because okay. there are a myriad of ways in which we report finances in, in different ways over over a period of time. Mm -hmm. So um, it all gets caught in one way or another. Okay. And so that's all. So this number of this twenty four is correct. Two million four hundred and two dollars and seventy six cents is correct minus the seventy six. No, no, no. This is correct. No, sure. this, this number is correct. It's just different than what the bottom line was for the public, for the public, the public hearing. hearing. So, so this number reflects what we believe the will of the budget committee to be, rather than that bottom line. Right. So this reflects their previous reduction. Correct. Plus the uh, the mistake we found. Correct. So again, you know, you're not signing this warrant until next week right. because this number could further change. Right. Right. So, yes. <coughs> okay. So with number seven, then we're waiting to hear what the final number is yes. from the budget committee on Wednesday. So. And then we'll have to vote on it next Monday night. Correct. That'll be the last piece of the warrant to. To finalize this, so everyone's on the same page. Okay. But uh, okay, so we'll talk about it. We'll have to do it Monday night. We'll have to do it Monday night for sure. Yeah. And so this 2.4 million that they're recommending, and we'll go down slightly, but um, is how much different from what we had recommended originally? Twenty-five hundred dollars and change. It's all right. Um, it's eighteen oh six plus seven sixty six. Okay, so. If the number doesn't change significantly. Twenty-five seventy-two down so. from your proposed budget. Okay. 
We'll wait to, to, to see what the final number is, of course, but if, if the budget committee uh, stands on that number, I can't imagine I would vote not to agree with them. I, don't, I think we could probably make the wheels of a municipal government turn with a $2,500 chip difference, but um, and thank them for their service. But we'll wait until next Monday to see what the final number is. Okay. okay. Objection. Okay, number eight, purchase of the plow truck. Um, cost 165000 coming out of um, the full amount coming out of the capital reserve fund. Are we ready to place this on the warrant? Or do we need, is there any objection to placing it on the warrant? No. Um, okay, so all those in favor of Article 8 say aye. 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 aye opposed? All right. So we're recommending it, and it goes on the warrant. All right, number nine, the police cruiser. This is the three-year lease agreement that the police chief wanted. Uh, all right, in the amount of thirty-four. So we've 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 run. This, I'll read it, but we've run this by Bob and Caroline. Yes. This is what. This is how we wanted it. Um. Yes, he did this Friday afternoon, right okay. before the public hearing. So I want to bring. And so before I started reading, I want to make sure that it was actually. We were going to say, oh, yes, but... <laughs> no, 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 okay. this, was, this was from him. I just okay. I just want to bring to your attention that it $1,000 is from taxation, okay. which is new for cruisers. Okay. So he's thinking at this point he probably intends to do another such lease agreement next year. I just want to plant a seed in, in your collective okay. brains that we change the allocation in the CIP okay. you know, accordingly. All right. So to see if the town will authorize the select board to enter in the three-year lease agreement in the amount of $34,000 for the purpose of leasing a police cruiser and to raise and appropriate the sum of $13,000 for the first year. Okay. So it's $34,000 total, and the first year's payment will be thirteen. dollars Okay. Uh, okay. We're going to take that $13,000 out of the capital reserve no. fund. It's no. further to raise and appropriate an additional thirteen dollars Yes. So it's only half. It's half lease payment and it's half equipment. Okay. Um, and it's that equipment cost that's putting him a thousand over. Gotcha. And then he's only we're taking twenty five from CIP. Okay. So it's a total of twenty six. We're taking twenty five out of the Correct. CIP. And he's going to find a thousand somewhere in his budget to make up well, the difference, or we're going to find a thousand dollars somewhere in the budget. To make no, difference. according to the article, uh, this this warrant article costs twenty six thousand dollars, or you can bring it back down to twenty-five, and he can find a thousand dollars in his operating budget. But as this is written now, yeah. this warrant article costs twenty-six thousand dollars. I know that's what I said. Oh, I thought you were going to say he's finding a thousand dollars in this. Yeah, it costs twenty-six. We're taking twenty-five out of the CIP, so he's going to find the thousand. We're going to have to find a thousand dollars somewhere else in the operating budget that really costs twenty-six. But we're only withdrawing twenty-five from the CIP. Right, but the other thousand is coming directly from taxation through this article, not through the operating budget. But that, right? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I, you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's but fine. we don't say that. It doesn't. It say could. That there. It, I could add that to be explicit. Um, a thousand. Part of the voter guide, not what I saw. Yes, the so. voter guide. It is more explicit. All right. So, so I don't understand just one thing. So the. Cost is thirty four thousand, but we only are paying twenty six. We we're we're paying actually just thirteen for a lease payment in the first year. It's okay. a three year lease. So it's thirteen a year for three years. Yes. So next year the same warrant goes on asking for thirteen thousand for another payment. No, there you like because I I you know. First time lease, and I need to check into this, and I will check into this. But my understanding is um, that because it's it's written here as a three year lease agreement, that we are this is authorizing three years of correct. Lease. Okay, I believe that so. that might need a yeah. I will call DRA about that. Finer point, but for sure. <coughs> we'll make sure it's explained in the voters' guide very clearly. Absolutely. So you're going to clarify that with DRA, but are we are, are people com folks comfortable voting on number nine this evening, or do you want to wait till next Monday? 
I think we can build on it and I'm, I'm comfortable. I just think you have to eat it up it to take 26 out of capital improvement or write a thousand for taxation. You I can write it's a not clear thousand dollars where the coming. extra thousand is coming from. But we're going to make sure it's clear what it is. Yeah, that will add that. Okay, that's my only so with that caveat to add the to explain the thousand dollars coming from tax, we add the line with thousand dollars coming from tax direct taxation. Yep. Uh -huh. Are folks comfortable with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So all those in favor of recommending and placing Article Nine on the warrant say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Opposed. All right. We're recommending that one. All right. Number ten is the police message board. I'll see if the town will raise an appropriate sum of $23,800 to purchase a message board for the police department to authorize the select and to authorize the select board to apply for and accept state federal grants anticipated for this purpose. So the total cost for the board is twenty-three eight. Correct. Okay. And he's anticipating eleven nine. Half of it coming from the grant, and the other half comes from. The but as it's written. You're authorizing 23 right. to come from taxation, right. which allows the board honestly the flexibility that, you know, should this be approved, if the grant doesn't look like it's been approved or going to get approved, you don't have to buy it. Right. He has applied for it already. It's too early to know. Mm -hmm. This allows you the flexibility to buy it whether or not there is a grant. So you don't have to buy it and then apply for reimbursement. No. Right. Correct. Wait until you. Right, he applied for it and then you can buy it if it's approved and what you want to. Excellent. So we don't have to indicate it in all articles that it, whatever remaining is taxation, we don't have to actually put those words? No. Okay. Not, and, and not on the warrant, but in the voter's guide we explain that to each one. Because so it's, it's, th that's what the beginning that, means, is to raise an... To raise and appropriate the sum of X dollars mm -hmm. really means taxation, mm -hmm. okay. unless you're saying that you're going to offset it with some other the CIP or, or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So are folks folks ready to vote on Article Ten? Yes. Yeah. All right. So all those in favor of Article Ten as as written, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. All right. So I recommend that. Go on the warrant. Number 11, a town boiler. To see if a town will raise an appropriate sum of 25000 to replace the boiler in the town hall and further to authorize a referral of 20000 from the Capital Improvement Reserve Fund established for this purpose. We've talked a lot about it. And yeah. I think we're ready. All right. So, and we will get to number 13 in a moment. But, um, what, um, all right, so folks ready to vote? Mm -hmm. All those in favor of including it in the warrant, say aye. 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 All right, those on the warrant. Radios for the Rollinsford Fire Department. Um, to see if the town will raise an appropriate 765 <coughs> to replace aging communications radios for the Rollinsford Fire Department uh, and further authorize withdrawal of 10,000 from the Capital Improvement Reserve Fund established for this purpose. What do folks think? Any good. discussion? Should you put, should we put how many that will be, or don't we need to do that? You can't. I don't need to. We can. You can certainly add it. So so here's the thing to think about: the more language you add, the more restrictive you get. So if they so don't, try for some reason, come up with if it was for sixty, if the price goes the price up, ones up, they can only get fifteen. Then this is kind of. Okay, got it. So, so that's where I would say the voter's guide yeah, yeah. helps people and understand I would just what the goals are. I don't want to keep passing the buck over to the voter's guide, but that will be give us our opportunity to yep. say we're anticipating buying 15 instead of yeah. whatever the number yep. of So, 10. All right, so any other discussion? All right, so all those in favor of adding this under the warrant, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Number 13. This is the uh, combined uh, police station town hall facility. I assume you all saw the email from Chief Ducharme asking us um, to hold off on this for you. I did. did you was it to us or was it to the committee? It was to us and to the committee. Oh, okay. I believe I find it here. I think it was to both of us. I think it was to the select board and it was CC to the committee thanking them for their work, but I think it needs to hold off for a year.
basically he thinks that um, we need to have more of a plan as to what's going to To, uh, to the select board and to the members of the, uh, uh, the Space Needs Committee mm -hmm. um, that the um, interest figures that he saw that he had passed out were, were, were semi-annual, so they're actually double what, um, what he thought they were. Um, and he knows so there's a monkey wrench and everything, and he said maybe it's best that we just postpone for a year so we can review this more thoroughly and find answers to some of the questions that have been raised. So I think that he raises a, two interesting points. One, I don't think we're clear now on all of the uh, ins and outs of the funding that we thought we were. Um, and we there are questions as to what we're doing with this building we're sitting in at the moment. And uh, we don't have answers to it. So I think we should follow his recommendation and hold off for another year. Now, we don't particularly care for, but... Um, I agree with that for a number of reasons, um, but mostly I think we've distributed information to the public that's incorrect. Um, that too. That I just don't feel comfortable um, moving forward with this. I think, I think we need to take a little more time and a little more caution. So it's my baby first, and then we pass it, pass it over to you, Denise. So we we sort of had some oh, we, sort of, we did it together. Yeah, no, we did it together, right? <laughs> so, yeah. no, so we have been working on this for, for a while, but two uh, years. Two years. So it wasn't just thrown together. No, no, but um, I um, what well, well, I was going to say that I wanted. I'm going to recognize you to speak, of course, but I want to say thank you for the time you put in over the last year, or two years, or mm -hmm. specifically on your own as a board rep mm -hmm. for the last uh, year. So I know it's sort of bittersweet, but um, um, go ahead, you said, have your say. You know, if Bob wants to pull it back, I respect his opinion. I just think there's a lot of misconception about how the committee worked and what they did and their task was and, and how long they've been working on it. Mm -hmm. So that's my only point. Okay, so um, we will vote then as to whether or not we're going to include Article 13 on the warrant. All those in favor of including Article 13 say aye. All those opposed? No. no. All right, so Article 13 will not go on the warrant for this year. And that is a collective sigh of relief from half the town and a get the news ready to lynch the other half. Have not pleased anyone probably. So. All right. Article 14, closing of trust funds. So we have uh, we have a number of um, trust funds that we have found that are um, have small amounts of money in them that um, are no longer that aren't current. Um, they've either been replaced by other uh, other um, other funds like the slot. There used to be a, a, a trust. Well, there is currently a trust fund just for the Sligo uh, Road Culvert, the Sligo Road Culvert Reserve Fund. Well, we have a Culvert Reserve Fund now. Um, there used to be a police, police cruiser reserve fund. We have the Capital Improvement Plan Fund, a program fund now that covers all of that. So um, Caroline has um, put together a list of um, let's see, the, the cruiser fund, transfer station, compactor reserve fund, Property Reevaluation Trust, which is um, separate, there's a separate um, or, or it was, um, fund established for that already. Uh, and the, um, like I already said, the Sligo Culvert Reserve Fund. And then, I don't know why the town has agency over this, but... And you know what, we, we may not. It's listed as the trust fund, but there are also, to be clear, cemetery trusts. Um, okay. In our same sheet too, so you know I'm, they... I'm recognizing what you're saying, and I'm going to check into okay. that. Okay, so we're going to strike that one because we don't have uh, education tuition funds. We're going to strike that one. That was the schools. Yeah. Okay. So it will just be the Sligo Culver uh, Rebel Fund, Compactor Fund, Transfer Station Fund, 
and the police cruiser fund. Um, is there any discussion on uh, on closing those funds? And they'll all be rolled over and transferred to the general fund. And they're, they're, how much is in there? Uh, what's the total on that? Ten bucks. Um, they range some of them as much as um, I think one of them has maybe like five hundred dollars in it, but most of them have like twenty to forty dollars, right. like just interest basically. Altogether, hundred thousand dollars. I'm sure it's not. Okay. Oh, you've got the you've got a list there. Good. Any for you then? You're all right. Okay. Our models, you are all right. All right. So, all those in favor are including Article 14 on the warrant. Say aye. 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 All right. Recommending that one. Article 14 and 15. Oh, we'll do them separately. Um, Article 15 is establish a Recreation Committee Expendable Trust Fund. I think we, we just heard the public hearing that it's not necessary this year from the town administrator, but more importantly, just as importantly, Ryan, we heard from the Rec Committee that they're asking us not to do it this year. Um, they'd like some more time. So, all right, all those in favor of, of placing Article 15 on the warrant say aye. Opposed? No. No? All right. Not recommended. Number 15, the same, it's a slightly nuanced, slightly different, establishing recreation committee expendable um, trust fund. Um, same title, but one was a revolving fund and one was a straight, the first one was, was a straight uh, expendable trust fund. This one's a revolving fund. The same thing, they've asked us to hold off. They're not ready yet. Any other comments, concerns? All right. Those in favor of putting Article 5, placing Article 15 on the uh, warrant, say aye. Opposed? No. Yeah. All right. Not recommended. I'm going to get this phrasing down by the end of the night, maybe. We'll see. Slightly different every time. All right. Article 16, Capital Improvement Reserve Fund. See if the town will vote and raise to appropriate 179400 to be placed in the Town Capital Improvement Reserve Fund, established for this purpose. Any questions, comments? This is the number we've been working on for, for quite a while now, so great. Um, nothing has changed. All right. All those in favor of placing Article 16 on the warrant, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. We're going on. Number 17, Town Reevaluation Capital Reserve Fund. Um, that would be replacing the... Uh, the other one, the other, the outdated, right, the other, the other trust that we that was set up years ago. Um, we have competing trusts. Um, to vote and raise and appropriate the sum of eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty. <coughs> excuse me, uh, to be placed in the reserve fund for this purpose. Any questions, concerns? Now this amount, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. Okay, this amount is going to be each year until what's okay. it, five years? For four years. Four years. Yeah. Okay. And then on the 50 year, we, we, we pay it and we pay do it at the same yeah. time. Okay. And, yeah. Start all over again for the next round of review every five years. So, what is the name of the, the fund? Um, I, don't, I don't know if I see it on this list. Um, and maybe it just wasn't included. I don't, I don't know. I think it was about when it's property reevaluation trust up top on the 14. But he's got That's the list of the trusts. Yeah. Oh. I'm just curious like, well, where does it matter? What does it go? No, please. So if you see it before I see it. Property reevaluation trust. There it is. We have $10.09 in it at the but, moment. So that's when we're playing. That's when we're getting rid of it. Okay. We're keeping the town reevaluation fund. Oh, okay. Which has um, it's $26.49 in it. Okay, because we depleted it. Right, we depleted it. We're right. putting it back in. Right. I'm good. Thank you. Exactly. <coughs> All righty. So, with those questions answered, are there any other questions? No. Okay, all those in favor of placing Article 17 on the warrant say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Article 18, Covert Repair Replacement Reserve Fund. Um, see if the town will vote an appropriate 10000 to be added to the Covert Repair Replacement Reserve Fund established for this purpose. And we will be getting a whopping whatever is in the Sligo Covert Reserve Fund. Replacing that one. 26 cents. Is 26 cents in that one? Yeah, that's probably 
makes sense that we close that one. Okay. So I have a question on that one. Mm -hmm. um, only because we just found out about a particular incident on Foundry Street. Mm -hmm. So there is no money in the car. <coughs> Correct. We have no money in the culvert. Uh, no, there's oh, there's some. Oh, there's thirty thousand. There's thirty thousand there right now. Oh, okay. What one did we just talk about? Oh, we did the Sligo Road the, one. Oh, the Sligo. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So that's okay. Then we probably can do that. Uh, do you need to have authorization at town meeting or on? We're the agents of the. So we can take yeah, it when we need to. Yeah. Okay. And we All set right. it up that way because we have so many culverts in town that had issues. Yep. That we want some flexibility. Okay. No, that's good. When it was set up before, it makes sense because.
some amount of money for Jay Stevens to determine what the value of that work is. Um, so, so here's the thing. So they want it on the warrant anyway. Um, that way it could stay on the warrant, but that you're assuring that the work will get done mm -hmm. in the spring because it really can't happen now. But it can't say that in the, in the warrant? No, because there's no, there's no maybe. You're either doing it or you're not doing it. And, and the people won't, you know, no. So it happens all the time, not in Rollinsford. It, it's, it's a standard thing. What's not standard, um, well, according to Tom, it is an experience in Dover, that Dover does it repeatedly. Um, they would prefer to issue us a check. Who's they? Um, Chinberg, for the value of whatever this is, rather than a letter of credit from the bank. Could call some kind of letter of credit. Probably. It does. Yeah. As opposed to the check, though, which, you know, if Once we have a really late it. winter, mm -hmm. could bring a check past 90 days. Right. Oh, because you, you can't deposit it until it happens. So well, you can't, unless you're using it, right? You don't want to deposit. Although, I mean, that's the other thing is we could deposit the funds, keep record of that, and work that out with them. That we're actually mm -hmm. depositing the funds and then refunding them. Mm -hmm. um, but we need to work out those details. Right. And they're the ones that say that they want it on the warrant. They Maybe want it. Is Schinberg? Is they? Schinberg would really want it on the warrant. Tom Clark is recommending that you proceed with some kind of financial caveat. Right. Mr. Stevens indicated that the road itself uh, is, in, is in proper condition to be accepted. Is that there was additional drainage work, right? mm -hmm. there was some clogged holes cleaning out. Mm -hmm. that we, we want done before Wait, we accept right. the road. For Which sure. should be done, but shouldn't be very expensive. Mm -hmm. But I, th I think that they need to follow the, the, the process that Mr. Clark has outlined. A letter of credit from the bank. I mean, if not, it just doesn't go on the warrant. It, it, well, so so I think this may be another thing that you are going to um, determine more finally next week, That's according fine. to whatever the response to that is. So this means that we are we're not responsible for plowing their yard, their roads, because they're not a, a town-owned road. We we are. Should this be approved? Yeah, right now, today. Right. We're not. But, but today we're not. We're not, we're not, not no, no, it's not. No, that's right. my. So Correct. if this if this doesn't go on the Warren article and, or doesn't get approved on the on the ballot, that means they have to maintain the roads for the year. Correct. Correct, okay. and that also <coughs> um, opens the town up to some questions from the property owner about why it wasn't approved. And that's something that I think we really need to speak to at the deliberative session because it's not really an option of the town. If the plan is, if, if, the, if the road is built and the development is built according to the plans which were approved by the planning board, mm -hmm. we don't really have a right to not approve it. And yet there may be confusion about that among the voters. A developer can't come in in good faith design a road, build a road that, that was designed to our specifications. And then the townspeople just say, no, just kidding, we're not going to accept your road, now you're stuck maintaining it, you know, for the rest of your lives. You know, so it's not fair. I mean, it's, it's what Well, and it opens us up to litigation. Right, right, right. But it also has valid issues that haven't been resolved. Well, it does. Mm -hmm. So the letter of credit is kind of like bonding, but on mm -hmm. a smaller scale. Right. So that, but, but it allows town's agency over those funds for that amount of money to do the work. So, yes, you're approving the road either way if this article passes. However, you will have the money to do the work if they don't do the work. So there shouldn't really be a loss, in other words. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I think we should wait until next week to, to, to figure it out. All right, we want to wait until next week, so we'll let Chinberg, okay, so what, what, I don't think that's me, I think it's you, Beacon. It um, so, Caroline, will you reach out then to, to the developer and let them know that we'd like them to issue the letter of credit, letter of credit please. Okay. And then, um, if, they're, if they're agreeable to that, then we'll be placing it on the warrant. Okay. We'll vote on it next week. Next week is the deadline, right, for us to? Yes. Okay, so we're going to hold. I'm going to hold on this one, just like we held on 
article. I didn't make a note of it. Article. Seven. Thank you. Seven. All right. All right. Moving right along. Article 22. The city of the town will vote to discontinue the position of tree warden, fence viewer, surveyor of wood and lumber, and parks and recreation. I will change that language the way it's written once I find out what that title Parks is. Parks and Recreation yeah. official title is. This was um, the request of the town clerk. And you can break them up if you want. But so, what happens if it fails? <laughs> then you're going to do it again next year. Yeah. But you're not going to appoint anybody. You can't appoint them. Well, well that, that's not true. If, if yeah. If no one fills, if no one signs up for well, but the, you will those, have right those so. offices, right? Or if no one receives the required number of write-ins, then the select board may have to appoint them. Well, does somebody who gets ten white write-ins when everybody else got fewer, does that person not win yeah. the position? Yeah. 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 I think that, I don't remember what the first of all. Minimum number of maybe five, something like that. It's not many. Is there a minimum? Is there a minimum? Yeah, so. I thought it was. All right, so I'm going to check on the case so we know that better. That might only be for partisan elections, though, actually. So I'm not sure, in other words, that it really can be defeated. Um, well, I'm sorry. Of course it could be defeated. I just mean. <coughs> what I mean to say is those positions and their vacancies, I can't imagine that they wouldn't be filled by way of write-ins, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, they'll be write-ins. There will yeah, be. Yeah. 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 Write-ins for those things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so, so you can see I, I have that question there. You can break them into separate Articles, if you prefer not to have them on the ballot together that way. I don't think there's that much of a difference. I mean, I'm not sure someone's going to know between tree board and consent to the We'll want to keep one and not keep the other. Um, I'm not in favor of the article at all, so I, I'm still not happy with the fact that we don't have town meeting anymore. I'm certainly not going to vote to kill the last uh, few traditions that we have associated with town meeting. But if you do want to do it, that's fine. On the war. My my only concern, and it's selfish, is that this creates a vote counting nightmare. Mm -hmm. um, for some people who may not even want it. Right. Yeah. That <laughs> that's true. that's the that's problem true. with the write ends. Um, Are we the only ones that have these positions in the whole state? I mean, how else does everyone? Sure not. <laughs> can we can we change them to appointed positions? Uh, yeah. I, I, I'll find out about that maybe. because that would be maybe just put preferable. We could maybe change the warrant article to see if the town will vote to allow the select to board to select appoint board them to appoint mm -hmm. positions of tree warden. I would rather do that. Board. I would absolutely rather do that. Then I would that absolutely rather do that. And then the, then the positions will be. Built by us. And then you can make sure people want it before you right. do that. Well, we can, after the fact, we can put it out there that we have these positions, and it seems to be always the same people who get them. Um, yeah. I will call it that. Okay. <coughs> right, we'll hold off then until next okay. next Monday until we find out if, whether or not we can make that change or not. Uh, you can spend the week lobbying each other, passionate whether or not we're going to do away with the tree board.
So note that your article numbers are going to change because mm -hmm. you've deleted mm -hmm. two. All right. Three. Mm -hmm. okay. Three. That's three. That we're not. Oh, working. right. Yeah. Same number. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Article twenty-three to uh, the authority to sell surplus equipment and vehicles. This is a safe town will vote to authorize the select board to sell to the highest bidder surplus equipment and vehicles owned by the town. This is on every year or so. Mm -hmm. Is there any other uh, any discussion of it? All those in favor, including Article Twenty Three on the warrant, say aye. 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 Opposed. Good. The only other warrant left is. I can't. Article we, 20. Can't, yeah, I can't. You know, if that's there, that. but I don't think we can do that because you can't do that by ballot. Uh, it's on the school one every year. Really? Any other businesses? So is that just part of the deliberative session? It just doesn't end up on the ballot? Correct. Mm -hmm. There's not a free form text box on the ballot. We please, yeah, we welcome your comments. <laughs> no, don't do that. So article, article 24 will go on the... On the okay, I'll leave it. It doesn't have a recommendation by the select board. It's just it goes on. All right, so the only thing we have left then is we're going to figure out about... Um, Four positions: the um, uh, letter of uh, credit. Was that what it was? Yes. Um, from uh, on the roads and um, and the operating budget. So we can get the bottom number from the budget committee after Wednesday. That that the warrant is set. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, what else is on the agenda. I've lost my agenda. I don't know that I put it on the agenda, but I need you all to make a determination about the draft of the oh. voter guide. Do we have a paper copy of it? Um, I did not I because I saw that I used to that. I'm gonna I've read it. There was one thing I wanted yes. to change. Let me yeah. print off a couple. Thank you. Okay, so the only thing that I had on here, 
I thought it looked great. The only thing I wanted to change was on the um, the radios for the for the fleet and fire department. Um, the current radios were received with a with a 9/11 grant and are no longer serviceable. I think it should say the current radios were um, were received via a. Grant, a uh, post 9 11 2001 grant. Instead of Homeland Security grant? Yeah, yes. but, but I want folks to understand it wasn't like it was, it's, a, it's a grant that happened last year associated with, with, with 9 11 2001, but it actually was from that year. So whether it was 2000, the end of 2001 or probably it's actually by 2002 was when the right. grant was probably awarded, but folks need to understand that it's not like it's these are, that are new radio right. there. Ask Mark for a year or two. Well, I mean, I just think it, it just has to be a little clear here what, why we're saying a 9 11 grant it just has to say, uh, you know, a post 9 11 2001 grant. And find out, yeah, we can find out exactly. If we can say they're 14 plus years or 15 plus years. Whatever the. How many years old? Yeah, absolutely. Folks need right. to understand that. But it's not like we're saying they're three years old and we want to replace them all. Yep. I mean, it's, 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 yep. So at least 15 years old, so it could be 15 years old or something. Mm -hmm. Someone's beeping and it's not me. It's just not me. It's not me, her phone is off. And so. it's not me, because I'm over here. It's coming from like over there. Yeah, it's coming from behind this one. I'm right? sorry, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just off. that area. <laughs> the Russian yeah. I don't, the my, my phone doesn't make that noise. Okay, so. Mine does, but I just don't know. All right, so if we can just change that. I think everything yes. else, did you find a typo somewhere? I did on the end of the cruise release. The cruise yes. left the town, yep. Will, more high mileage. It should be with, with. more yes. high yep. mileage cruises. With. Instead of Will, it should be with. Yeah. All right, there was two that I found. Yeah. And there were a couple of places, hold on, let me find the word, um, where, like, the word, um, hold on. Oh, I have one other one too. But yeah, go ahead, Mike. So for the zoning, um, the three zoning amendments, mm -hmm. uh, the other two are fine, but the accessory dwelling units, I think we need to be clear um, that the change that the zoning, or the, mm -hmm. uh, right, yeah, that the planning board is recommending is so that the Rollins Food Zoning Ordinance can be in compliance with, with state statute. Well, the first sentence, does it, you don't think the first sentence says that? Yes, it's in the, it's not, it was, maybe it was in the back of the warrant, but I'm confusing them. It might. Unless they got changed, the email, the, the, no, I thought it was in the, the voter guide, the email that I saw. Maybe, this, was this changed at all? Um, it could have been. I may have seen that. It might have been an earlier draft, so. No, you're, you're right. It does say that now, so it's, I'm good. Never mind. Strike it. It may have been a previous version. Okay. 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 I'm good with it. Miles has. Um, I can't, I can't find where it is now. Uh, if I do, I'll, I'll email you. It was just. It's one of those words where there are two words that mean kind of the same thing, but it's the wrong word. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, like a common error? Yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you. Please email me. Stare. Find that. So my question is, right. how do people get this? Mail. Mail. Direct mailing. And it's going to be five pages? Like in an envelope? Well, no. Because this so, is three pages, four pages So the long. way this happened last year, what I think we're going to try to do is get an 11 by 17 paper, mm -hmm. so, which allows, which is four of these essentially. So we got to do layout and whatever to get two and two and it'll be like folded in half and then tri-fold it and mail. And very small to read. Um, it Possibly, yes. Mm -hmm. Salme works with the printer to get layout to happen. Um, yes, we print strive to have it uh, bigger but we've got a lot more to Mm. to talk about. We've got okay. all the different uh, oh, yeah, five yes. plus more articles. So. so, to be clear, 
language may change by because of what you're saying. You know, we may have to get it concise, more right. concise Just for space. A little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. But we need to approve, at least in concept, what's written here, so we can get it, make sure it gets out, because it has to get out by the end of the week, right? So it'll arrive in people's mailboxes. So, so it can't be finalized session. until after the budget committee meeting, right. um, because whatever happens there is going to reflect what we mm -hmm. say here. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be to the printer Thursday morning. So if you do can't find that one spot, okay. yeah, we'll let her know. Let her know. And if, 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 but there's, if there's any other content, in here that you think needs to change. <coughs> Authorize um, uh, Salome and Caroline to, to work on the layout and get this out. So we can get out by the end of the week. Get the folks okay with that? All right. Let's see. Okay with that? Mm -hmm. All right. And we will do that. Anything else? We, have, we didn't have all for tonight, did we? No. Okay. We were going okay. It didn't happen? Okay. It's not on here. Anything else? Folks? Well, no. do we need to take a stand on this? Oh, or, right. or do we just assume what copies they have are correct? So so there are no published copies yet. I'm giving this to you as the current revised mm -hmm. version. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would like for you to look it over. This is from Suzanne as a reflection after she has done what she's done with the portal and the error that she caught. So, you know, Every time I think we're good, we're not, because we're rushing through this. But, you know, so anybody who wants to put eyes on it, I welcome right. that. But, but the bottom line but is... The bottom uh, line matches the portal, which is adding it separately outside of this spreadsheet that we've had. Two million four hundred and two thousand seventy-six dollars, which is what I thought I just saw in the warrant, right? A number. Yep. And that's what we have in the warrant. So I will email this to you. And okay. The and then, okay. Okay. All right. Anything else? From the board? From the board? Do you need any input? Ah, sorry, Leopold, Washington Street. You put a bunch of things on the end of the article but did not recommend them. Are they going to be recommended or not? Um, the warrant, like the truck and stuff, does that get recommended by you guys or just put on the warrant? If we put it on the warrant, we recommend it. Okay. I wasn't sure if you put something on the warrant that you were not going to recommend. No, everything we placed on the warrant, we were, we were recommending. There will be, let's see, one. User. I just saw how many there are total. There will be 21 more articles out of a possible 24. Any other community input? Seeing none, we're adjourned at 6 26. Well, next week, the select board is going over to the fire station at um, 7 to have coffee with the firefighters. That are, so Not all of us could make it to the um, um, funeral for Kevin. Um, we wanted to have a chat conversation with that. Okay. Any other I'm gonna go buy a box of coffee. So there's I think it's seven thirty. You wanna I can say if you wanna I told Mark that you would email or text David. I thought we did was there. Yeah, you should <laughs> so yeah. just in one of that. I don't know if we were running late. I thought I didn't know if we were, it um, might take longer tonight. So all right. let me see but if I can get us. If he wants us to come over earlier, I think that would be I would love to go earlier. Yeah. So, well, that, yeah, yeah. Right. Was that a motion? Was that a motion to adjourn? We did. We, we did okay. that already.